Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back! So I believe I promised you a needle book. So, let's... So... so. <laughs> uh, no pun intended. Let's put together a needle book today. And I'm going to be going off um, the original plan of this one. But we're going to make it a little bit better. It's going to be kind of like the bionic man. We're going to build it better, faster, stronger, whatevers. Okay. So what I have is I have a piece of felt. And this is just some wool blended felt. And you can use anything you like. They even have the craft felt. And it's not even made out of real stuff, I think. I think it's some kind of a plastic something recycled material. But it, it doesn't matter. So I just have this piece of felt and it is six inches wide by about four and a quarter inches tall. And then I took a piece of just one of the Tim Holtz, the six by six cards in the back of, um, you know, the paper packs. And I cut it the same size, but what I did was I kind of put it on top of this one and I cut it down so that there would be a border all the way around the edge and then also like a spine, like a place in the middle for it to fold evenly. The reason why I like to have a little bit of board on this is just for some structure so it's not too flippity floppity. Sometimes if I, I've used a needle book that was all fabric before and because it folds so easily, um, it's easy to get a needle to poke through and I really didn't want to poke myself in the finger with a needle. So what you can do is you can make it entirely out of fabric and then put insert these in between for structure. That, that works too. So if you wanted to cover two pieces of felt and then put sandwich these in the middle, you can do that. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. So I'm going to say that probably there is an eighth of an inch all the way around and then also an eighth, probably a little more than an eighth of an inch that goes down through the middle. But depending on how big your needle book is, that will be absolutely and totally up to you. All right, so those pieces are finished and cut. And what I'm going to do now is I want you to get another piece of felt of a, hopefully of a, a different kind of a contrasting color. And I just chose a couple of colors that were in this cardstock. So kind of a mm, burgundy wine, berry wine color, and then just a dark sprucy green. And what I'm going to do is these are flipping them all over. These are two little rectangles that will house the needles and the pins safely. So what I want to do is I want to sew these on before I put the whole book together. So these will get stitched on either side, however you would like to stitch them. If you want to put them in the middle or if you want to put them more towards the top or the bottom, you know, that will be you know, up to your discretion. Maybe your needles will be shorter or longer than than the ones I use. So you can kind of gauge it that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of fold this in half, kind of see where my center, my center line is, get a little bit of a visual here. And I'm just going to kind of center these about like that. I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and I'm going to zigzag stitch um, on each edge down each side and leave the middle open and free. And so let's go do that. So now we have our little rectangles sewn inside. And then on this side, what I'm going to do is if you want something to tie it closed, uh, this is where I would do that. 
Usually I don't bother because I'm like when I need to go grab a needle, I'm not in the mood to be untying and then tying something back up. So I just put a clip on it. But if you are of the tying variety, now would be the time to either um, just glue this in right in here so that it will be encased on the inside because these will go as our little front and back cover supports like that. But like I said, that's not happening in my world. We're not, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna do it. Now, uh, one of the things that we can do is I made up some pieces of paper so that we could make like a little book plate. So I've got just some tea stained paper. This is a file folder remnant. And then I stamped the word needles if you have the um, need to label, label the label. So now would be a good time to put this on and I think I will because I think it kind of looks, I don't know, I like the way it looks when something is labeled. I don't know why, I don't know why, I just do. I like fonts and so that's what I'm gonna do, but you don't have to. And I'm just gonna kind of center that. And then this one goes on next. Oh, and I think somebody asked if this art glitter glue has glitter. No, it doesn't have any glitter. No glitter. It's just made, it was, I think it was specifically made for like adhering glitter, but it doesn't have any glitter in it. It's a misnomer. Okay. And then needles. You put one more S on the end and it would be needless. Could be your little pack of needlessness. Your needless book. Mm. And there it goes. So you can do a couple of things. If you want to um, just attach these with a little bit of glue and then sew them around the edge. It looks, it looks real, really cute. So, and that's what I wanted to do, but you don't have to sew anything. You don't even have to sew those little rectangles on the inside. If you don't want to, you can just glue them down on either side instead of the stitches. But I'm going to put just a little bit of glue just to tack it down and keep it keep it where it's supposed to be until the stitches hold it. So there's one. And two. Put the needle back or the pin back in this. And I'm gonna go stitch around the edges of these. I will be right back. So it is sewn around on both sides. And so let's put some stuff in here. And that's really all I do. I don't really get too um, complicated with it all. I do like to have some like quilting pins, some long pins of some kind. Those are nice to have around. And that way I don't end up using my needles for pins. And then maybe some safety pins. So here's a pretty long one. And then I've got this little short one, this little curved short, short one to, these are easier to pin in quilts from what I'm told. Don't quilt, but I will believe what I am told. <laughs> and then the needles. Man, that one's way too big. <laughs> I really don't ever use that needle. So I just stick it through the, uh, the part that is like the little loop here. And that's where I keep them so that they don't stick through the actual cover or backing of, that one's big too. So these are 
kind of embarrassingly simple to make. And this is not a sewing kit, so it doesn't have, you know, thread and buttons and, you know, little accoutrement to go in it. It is, it is just for sharp things. It's just a, a sharp book, a needle book, or a, a needless book. I really should have put needless on there. And I just take a little clip and I clip it closed. That way it's really easy to get into and put things back without tying. But if you like to tie, please put a tie in there because that would actually look really, really nice. Um, or even a little stretchy cord with a button or something. Again, I'm, I'm probably not gonna be bothered to do that. So hence, hence the clip, hence the clip. The clip is quick and easy. But that, that is all it is, guys. It is paper and felt and a little bit of sewing or glue, however, however it is that you decide to attach your, your things inside the needlebook. And that, that's it, that's it, guys. But thanks for letting me show you how, how simple this is and um, go make some. I think that would be a really awesome little thing to um, to have around so that you don't, you know, stick your fingers on the points of needles or little kids won't, you know, maybe maybe this would help keep little kids from finding needles too. Cause you know how those tomatoes, you know, the little stuffed tomatoes with the, with the, with the needle sticking out of them, those are just way too tempting for toddlers for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's because they're red and they look like, you know, fruit. <laughs> but I don't know, it's like, those things are like kid magnets. So maybe this is a little bit easier to keep your needles in if you got little, little ends around. All right, guys, thank you so much. I will catch you really, really soon in the next video. Bye, guys.